Hi everybody, so this is Doctor Who season five, episode five, I think. Um, this episode, or this story rather, is called The Web of Fear. There are six parts to this story, so it's going to be um, a slight adventure considering where we last left off with um, the TARDIS doors were still open when we kind of dematerialised. Um, Victoria and the Doctor and Jamie were all kind of clinging on to whatever they could reach so that they didn't, like Salamander, get sucked out into space. Um, so I'm really interested to see where this one picks up from. Are we going to pick up exactly where we left off or are we going to pick up and we're already someplace somewhere um, in the universe? So I'm going to get on into this one and I'm going to see how this one goes. So let's go. Oh, I'll try, Doctor, but I'll have to get to a better position. What the hell is he doing? That's it, Victoria. Mind that hand, Pat. Mind that hand. He's not in a very enviable position, you know, at the moment, floating around in time and space. Now then, where are she? Look how he was oh, about that. Just get a breath yeah, he's just floating around. Tearing off anyway. Anyway, as you know, the TARDIS has a mind of its own. Mr. Silverstein? Yes, uh, who are you? Anne Travers. Is my father here? Yes, he's here. Uh, come and see him and take him away. He's a yes. Great deal of trouble. It's that thing. Oh. You're a stupid old fool, Julius Silverstein. Oh. But Father the Yeti isn't dangerous. Well, it can't work unless it has a control unit. But I've done it, Anne. I have reactivated a control unit. Oh. Oh. Oh, now it is valuable, yes? You try to scare me, take your oh. Yeti back. Why? This guy's going to die soon. You want to rob me? All right, then I'll buy the thing back if that's what you want. Oh, well, let's go home and look again, shall we? You know what you're like. Yeah, but suppose... Let's go and have a quiet dinner and you can tell me all about it. Then we'll go home and we'll look for the sphere. Very sophisticated, Victoria. Come on, Jamie, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, aye. Right. Now look, I'm not daft, you know. Where are we? It's nothing but stars. What's it mean? I don't know. Something strange has happened. We're suspended in space. If the time lock has slipped. Doctor, look at the scanner! <coughs> That stuff, Doctor. A what? And finally, Captain Knight, could you tell us your own feelings about Colonel Pemberton? Well, he was certainly a brave soldier. There's no doubt about that. He gave his life for his country, and I was proud to serve under him. Well, who did then? Your daughter. Anne? Mm. It's like a mother, always interfering in things she knows nothing about. I understood that you'd sent for her to come back from America and help you. Mm. Well, what do you want me for, anyway? I don't. I consider this to be a military matter. Oh. Press chose me. Oh, yeah? Tell me, Professor, will you be in charge of the scientific section or will your daughter? Mind your own business. <laughs> and how long do you think it's going to take you to come up with the answer, eh? Oh, nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> well, nothing yet. But it will do once we start moving again. Oh! oh. Oh, do you think we ever will? We've been here so long. Yes, of course we will, Victoria. You see, whatever's holding us must let go sometime. As soon as we land, whatever you do, don't let go. Hold on. What's going to happen? We're landing. 
Now, now, look at the scanner, both of you. Oh, we're in a tunnel. Where are we? But I, I really don't know, Victoria. Shall we go out and have a look? Hmm? Now, is it safe? So dark. Ah, steps. Come on, be careful. Garden. Garden. Oh, the doctor was wrong. Ah, it's not the middle of the night, it's broad daylight. Just a minute. Just let me get my breath. Oh, those stairs. Looks like we're walked oh. in, though. Ah, yeah, there wouldn't have been any oh, escalators then, strange. I doubt. There's an old man over there. Shall let's ask him? Yes, go on. Oh, is he homeless? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I might be live, man. Don't move. Uh, keep quite still, Jamie. Oh. oh, it's all right. You can relax. The electricity is off. Well, what are you doing, Doctor? Just confirming something. Yes, just so I thought. I haven't been in the trains here some time. Soldiers. Stay in the shadows. You follow the soldiers. But keep out of sight. I need to see where this cable goes to. Meet back here in a few minutes. All right, right. Well, it's obviously, I'm assuming, going to lead to where Travers is. It's always one. I told you, I heard something, didn't I, staff? Yeah. Come on. Now look here, Knight, I really must protest. What's the matter now, Mr. Chorley? Professor Travers. He's being obstructive and secretive. Now, I was led to believe that when I came here, I was going to be given full facilities. Look, perhaps you can help I me, really Travers. am very busy, Mr. Chorley. Well, so am I. Brought you to stand over there. Keep it on, Blake, will you? Hey, hey, you there. Give the cops one a hand. Oh, for staff, I'm on this other job. Oh, there's two people randomly here. Come on, you do. Chop, chop. In here, mate. Come on. Any trouble to Charing Cross? No trouble, sir. All right, lad, you can buzz off now. By the way, I brought you back a little present, sir. Now, oh, now, everybody knows what's happening. And you know very well you shouldn't have come down here. By the way, you were on your own, weren't you? Well, yes. How many more times? Well, it's all right then. Clear the fire staff. Yes, sir. They were on their own, apparently. Right. What's all that about? Oh, squeaky shoe. Ah! That was um, an interesting episode, to say the least. I enjoyed that episode a lot. Um, I still kind of would like to know why the Yeti are here. Um, is... Like, why here? Yeah, why here of all places? Like, why go to London? I don't know what time frame we're looking at. No, nothing's kind of been said about that, but... I'd like to kind of understand why they're in London. Um, so... I'll probably watch the next one and I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.